Welcome to The Compass is Calling. I'm Kat. And I'm Adam. And we're going to take you through uh, our trip back to Florida and what we believe, uh, what we call Old Florida in this episode. A lot of people visit Florida to go to Disney, to go see the beaches in Miami and sometimes in the Panhandle and on the Gulf Coast, but not a lot of people see Old Florida. And Old Florida is something that is really magical and it's a place that we would love to share with you and take you on an adventure. With us being native Floridians, it, uh, we kind of take for granted what's in our own backyard and, and seem to miss a lot of these hidden gems. Um, so it was nice being able to take a few weeks in Florida this time with no work, uh, no engagements of any sort and just kind of explore wild Florida and old Florida. So if you're looking for something different on your next trip, here are four places that will make you feel like you've stepped back in time. So, place number one would be Ichnatuckney Springs. This is in central Florida, uh, just kind of northwest of Gainesville. Uh, it's, there's a state park there. If you go in the summertime, it's going to be loaded with uh, probably a bunch of rednecks tubing, and, which is good too. We've, we've uh, enjoyed that aspect of Jenny Springs. Um, but I would say if you get a chance to go in the wintertime, no one's there. Uh, you have the whole park to yourself and just the, the amount of wildlife you'll see. Seeing the springs early in the morning uh, with the mist coming off of them is, is kind of a magical experience. Place number two is St. Augustine. St. Augustine is known as being the oldest continually inhabited European city in the United States and it will take you back in time 500 years. You can walk the old streets and walk the fort. You can also go down to the beaches. There really is something for everyone in this city. Not to mention the lighthouse. We got to uh, visit the lighthouse this time. Uh, we lived in St. Augustine for almost two years or just outside of St. Augustine. Spent a lot of time in the Old Town, but we never did visit the lighthouse. Um, and I'm glad we got to go this time. It's a great view of the city uh, from up there as well as the Atlantic. And uh, it's a short climb, but it is 164 feet tall, so the view is pretty spectacular. All right, number three on our list is Wiki Wachi Springs. This is a hidden gem down on the west coast of Florida, just below Crystal River. Um, if you ever get a chance to, this, to go to this place, it's a must. They still do live mermaid shows in the springs. The kids love it. I know G loved it. Um, it's just a really special place. They've been doing these mermaid shows for 70 years and, and keeping it going strong. Additionally, there's a water park there, a couple water slides, and uh, just a great place to swim. Paddleboard, kayak, uh, you name it. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, they've got it. And Wikiwachi Springs and the Mermaid Shows was actually one of the first roadside attractions. People from Elvis Presley to past presidents have gone there to see the live mermaid shows. It truly is a unique experience. on our list is Fort Pickens and Pensacola Beaches. Now we're a little biased because Pensacola is my hometown and, and Kat spent quite a bit of her uh, high school years uh, in Pensacola as well but uh, if you've never experienced the white sand beaches of Pensacola or anywhere right up there on the Emerald Coast um, it's a must and the thing I like about Pensacola all the way from Fort Pickens down to Navarre is it's unspoiled beach there's plenty of places on the beach where you can get and be by yourself. 
Fort Pickens is a start of the Florida Trail, which is a trail that uh, runs a thousand miles through the state of Florida, hiking trail. Basically starts at Fort Pickens in Pensacola and ends somewhere down around Naples. And it's actually one of only 11 national scenic trails in the country, so it's, it's a must see. Well, that wraps up our uh, journey through old Florida. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of The Compass is Calling, and will join us next time. Thanks so much. Bye.